This video will guide you through the cleaning process for the Kenco fence staple gun. For prolonged life and continued operation, your staple gun requires regular cleanings. Cleaning should occur approximately every 10 to 20,000 firings, depending on the cleanliness of your work environment. To clean your staple gun, you'll need a 10 mm wrench, a flathead screwdriver, a 5 mm Allen wrench, and a 4 mm Allen wrench. You'll also need a degreasing cleaner, a high temperature lubricant, and a lint-free cloth. It is important for your safety that you remove the fuel cell and battery from the staple gun before beginning the cleaning procedure. You should also visually inspect the magazine to ensure no staples remain inside. To begin, remove this screw and nut from the support with a 5mm Allen wrench and 10mm wrench. Remove and set aside the support. Next, loosen the bracket knob. Then depress the knob to slide it down and remove the bracket from the handle. Remove the bolt from the handle assembly with a 4mm Allen wrench. Then insert the Allen wrench to remove the bolt from the other side. You can reassemble these parts outside of the handle for safekeeping. Using your 4mm Allen wrench, remove these four screws from the filter cap and then remove it. Next, unplug the fan motor wire and high voltage connection. The fan motor wire has a clip you'll need to disengage to disconnect it. Once the two cables are disconnected, you can remove the handle assembly from the staple gun. Now, carefully remove and set aside the motor unit, making sure that you don't damage or bend the fan blades inside. Using a screwdriver or dowel rod, fully depress the piston. Spray a degreasing cleaner into the combustion chamber and cylinder sleeve area. Then invert the staple gun and pour out the excess to avoid the buildup of residue at the bottom of the gun. Using a lint-free cloth, wipe out the chamber to remove dirt until clean. Pressurized air may be used here as well if necessary to remove residue and excess cleaner. Gently clean and wipe dirt and debris from the motor fan blades. Be careful that you do not bend any of the fan blades while cleaning them. Then, clean both sides of the motor assembly. Wipe off the o-ring. Then apply a high temperature lubricant to it. Use a flathead screwdriver to remove the dust net from the filter cap and remove the filter inside. Spray the filter with a degreasing cleaner and wipe clean, then allow the filter to air dry. The dust net and the filter cap may also be wiped or cleaned with pressurized air if necessary. Once dry, reassemble the dust net, filter, and filter cap.
Now that it's clean, reassemble your staple gun. First, reinstall the motor assembly, again being careful not to damage the blades of the fan. Next, replace the handle assembly and reconnect the high voltage connection and fan motor wire, feeding them into the wire groove as you go. Make sure both are securely connected and the fan motor wire snaps into place before putting the filter cap back on and replacing the four screws that hold it in place with your 4mm Allen wrench. Tighten these four screws evenly by hand and do not over tighten them. Replace the bolt in the handle assembly and hand tighten it using your 4mm Allen wrench. Reinstall the bracket to the base of the handle, slide the handle knob into place, and tighten the handle knob. Place the support back on the bracket, then replace and tighten the screw and nut with your 5mm Allen wrench and 10mm wrench. Finally, you can reinsert the fuel cell and battery, load staples in the magazine, and test fire your staple gun. Upon depressing the tip of the gun, your fan should activate, and then you may fire a staple into scrap wood. It's not abnormal if no staple is fired during the first activation, as this activation will reset the piston. A staple will then be fired upon the second activation. To view a printable step-by-step -step maintenance guide and parts diagram, visit the link in the description.